Hello, welcome. In this video, first light on the 1000mm F5 Stella Lyra scope. I also learned that the 294C sensor has a gain range which you can't use because it will produce images that cannot be calibrated. Let's go around the rig. So I've got an Altair guide camera. Now this one has a focal length of 225 millimeters. Then there's an Altair color guide camera there. That's the 290C. Had that one for years and it works very well. This has a dew heater on it or a dew band and that effectively keeps the lens nice and clear during the night and you can see the amount of dew that does build up and that's my breath that you can see because it's about minus one out here at the moment. I then have a dew controller here which is going to three dew bands one of which is also underneath here that's ice that's on there and so that's just basically keeping the air circulating around the primary mirror and then the other one is actually on this cable here which goes into just there if I open this up you'll be able to see hopefully just on there there's a dew heater on the secondary mirror and then on the SV Boney camera I've got a filter draw system now I haven't actually got a filter in there at all it is currently empty and then there's a coma corrector which is just in here this is the ZWO autofocuser which work perfectly. I'm not happy about these cables. I know cables management isn't great. That needs to be a right angled one, but it's not tight. I know it looks like it's tight. It isn't tight at all, because obviously I don't want to damage that socket there. This is the 405cc camera, which I've not used for a while because I find it really difficult to use. However, I want to give it the benefit of the doubt and give it a go. And also I didn't want to dismantle my other imaging rig the telescope itself is a 200 millimeter primary mirror in there and it is a thousand millimeter focal length and all of this is riding on the AZ EQ6 which takes all of that weight without any problems at all. Interesting first light. Most things worked and I managed to get everything connected and all working but again my images would not stack and it's just so frustrating. It really is. This is M51. The Whirlpool Galaxy and the issue I have here is that the flats haven't worked you can see a nice big round dust bunny there and the gradient is pretty terrible as you can see I expect some gradient because I'm in a light polluted area as most people are but I ran Graxpert on this and it came up with this which again is a bit rubbish because there's kind of a huge halo around this then I remembered a piece of information about gain and I suddenly thought hang on a second I've not tried this but basically I've heard that there is an issue with the gain range on a 294c sensor and if you increase the gain and then take your flats which I know you're not supposed to do because you're meant to keep everything consistent but if you increase the gain and then take your flats the image will calibrate so I retook the flats at a higher gain setting so basically I took them at 200 and for this imaging session I imaged all of these at a default setting which I think is 140. Then I restacked the information and the difference was amazing. Look at the difference between those two. This one has a huge light pollution gradient. This one is a lot flatter field. Yes, that is a massive dust bunny there which I don't know what that is but I think I can deal with that but the field is a lot flatter and I ran this through Graxpert and lo and behold look at the difference between these two same data but just taking flats with a different gain setting so the higher gain is the one on the right and then the lower gain is the one on the left that we see here so clearly the gain setting for a 294C sensor has a crucial role in how the flats function. So I did a bit more homework 
and I finally think I've found out some really interesting information about 294C census. I stumbled across this incredibly interesting piece of information, which is from the SharpCap forum. And this is written by Dr. Robin Glover, who is the software author for SharpCap. He wrote the program and he says here that there appears to be a set of gain ranges from 119 up to about 180, which you should avoid with a 294C sensor. He doesn't mention anything about long duration flats. He basically shows a histogram and this histogram here is really interesting because it shows that there's a bunch of pixels that are not fully saturated. So imagine this is a long exposure of a uh, white surface like a tracing panel. And you can see here that not all of the pixels are saturated, even though the picture may be white, may be completely overexposed. And I asked Dr. Glover about this. He was kind enough to reply to my forum post and he basically said that there is an issue that is known about with the 294C sensor and it's to do with gain. There is a range of gain settings with a 294C sensor which should be avoided because although the frame may look perfectly saturated such as a perfect flat, the individual pixels will not actually be saturated and therefore you will not get consistent flats. This is really interesting. Dr. Glover was kind enough to share a link where you can download the data sheet for the 294C sensor. So it says here on page 52 that in 14-bit mode, so it's a 14-bit camera and I'm in 14-bit mode when I'm using it, that you should be restricted to these ranges. So these ranges work in m cov gain equals one so that's the high gain value so when you're in high gain value you should be in these ranges so it's basically saying from 8.07 db to 27 db you're okay in that range which means anything below 8.7 db isn't going to work and that's represented with a hexadecimal value there and this is the range you need to be in in order to have predictable characteristics with this sensor. When you go into the high gain conversion mode, we have to avoid the first section of the high gain conversion mode, which is from 0 dB to 8.07 dB, and then you're okay. And then the camera sensor will perform as expected. So I went into SharpCap and I tried to replicate what I'm seeing with that gain conversion mode. Here we are in SharpCap and I have connected the 405cc which is a 294c sensor camera to SharpCap and I am doing a four second exposure that you can see here it says four seconds and I'm again 119 and where the telescope is and where the camera is at the moment I have an LED flats panel in front of the telescope. This is telescope land under the stairs and I've set up a test rig. This is a 294C sensor camera. It's going on my F5 1000mm 200mm aperture uh, scope and I have a flat panel here which is just a tracing panel which is just showing white. This is taking uh, an exposure and I'm going to use this to analyze the sensor response. So it is showing a histogram here that you can see is completely overexposed. So if I move the histogram down, it's basically white. So it's a fully exposed histogram. Now at the gain of 119, I am in the low gain mode, low gain conversion mode of the camera. Watch what happens when I go to gain 120 to the histogram. So in theory, everything should be the same, but at the gain of 120, the camera switches to high gain conversion mode. So I'm going to put 120 in now. And now let's see what happens. Straight away, we see that a load of gubbins has appeared to 
the left hand side. This is in line with what Dr. Robin Glover said to me when I was looking on the SharpCap forum about the inconsistencies in the gain from this sensor. He said if you look at the data provided by Sony that there is a range of gain values that you should avoid with this sensor. Now you can see if we go back to 119 I'm not changing anything else, I'm not changing the LED panel, all I'm doing is changing the gain value. So I'm decreasing the gain and straight away the histogram now as you'd expect with an overexposed frame is off the scale because it's overexposed so every single pixel is fully saturated but when I go to the higher gain setting although the actual frame is still white you can see that not every pixel is fully saturated it's not until I get up to gain 135 that we begin to see it change again. So if I just put in game 135 and you can see still that it's still got some little bits on the histogram to show that those pixels are not fully saturated. And when I get to game 140 I can't actually see any at all. It looks as if the pixels are then fully saturated. Now there's a tiny little bit that's there. Okay so I think that there is a set of gain ranges which you can't use with this particular camera and it's safer to go either below the high gain conversion rate so no higher than 119 or above. Now Dr Glover recommended uh, putting a gain of about 190. A lot of people I've seen have put a gain of 200 for a 294C camera and that seems to work a lot better. I've deliberately put the exposure at four seconds because many people have said that you're going to get consistent flats if you take a exposure of more than four seconds. 294C sensor had to have a higher gain setting. I suspect many people don't know this because they automatically set a higher gain or a lower gain setting and avoid the problematic region with a 294C sensor. Therefore, I'm really excited now because I've got another colour camera which I've worked out how to use. That is incredibly useful and a really powerful tool to have. I finally mastered the 294C sensor calibration and in particular the 294C flats which have plagued me for the last two years, nearly two years it's plagued me. I've not been able to get a single image to calibrate with that particular camera. I've now taken five exposures, one at the low gain conversion mode at 119 gain and then sequentially increasing to be able to see what the difference is. Let's have a look at what we've got. So this one here, if we look at the data, it says here gain 119, which we've got. And I've loaded that file, which is this one here, this test fits. And if we select that one, so run it. And we can see here the histogram is just there. And I can zoom in, so that's fully zoomed in. You can see it's a nice straight line and there are no extra bits at all. I'm going to look at the next one along, which is this one. And this is at gain 120. So let's load that one, which is this one here. And straight away, you can see the histogram is totally different. The pixels are not fully saturated, even though that is a completely white frame, exactly the same as this one here, the histogram is totally different. So if we go between low gain conversion mode and then one gain step up, high gain conversion mode. So that confirms that there is a gain range on a 294C sensor that should be avoided because it does not fully saturate the pixels. Running another imaging test tonight with gain 200 with the 294C camera.
I think that's worked. I think the image is stacked. Okay, that's what gradient removals used, crack spurt. I think it's worked. I can't see any dust. Might have removed some nebulosity. It's a little bit red there. But that's a crack spurt thing. But in terms of stacking, I think this has worked. A small favour to ask. If this or any of my videos are of use to you, please think about subscribing. It really helps the channel and I'm so close now to getting 2,000 subscribers. It would make such a difference to get to 2,000 subscribers. That would be absolutely bonkers. I'm incredibly grateful to you all for watching and it's my next target that I'm trying to get to with the channel. So uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you're able to. Mm -hmm.